Yo, in this video today, I'm going to be showing you guys a new updated tutorial on how to make shirts. Matter of fact, I'm just going to be making a whole new, like, photo bash series. My old photo bash series, it got hella views, but, like, it's so outdated, and I've gotten better since. I've learned new ways to just photo bash better in general, and where to source images from better, and just all that. So, yeah, let's get started. So, first things first, if you're going to want to be making your clothing designs really good, and really realistic you're gonna want to source your reference pictures from people wearing the clothes i found this random ass site and this dude's wearing the clothes you're gonna want the images to be exactly like these the front and the back at this exact angle you're gonna want both the front and the back images it is very important so you will see that um my space here my resolution as you can see down here isn't that big so that can be a problem because you want a good amount of resolution i'd say probably 2k by 2k and anything above that 1000 it's it's not terrible but it's not gonna be as good as what you could get from like 2000 resolution it just makes your final product look better so if you want your final product to look better of course do that and i actually went with a third reference picture here because i felt the neck hole isn't as curved now i could use liquify to curve it and then put it into the shirt when I go to design it, but this one's just gonna make it look better quality. So if you do have the option and your neck will isn't as good, try and find a better image. Okay, so let's actually begin on the real tutorial. First thing I'm gonna do is make a new layer, right? I'm gonna drag it below the template layer and I'm gonna begin. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab from about here. Now I'm gonna Paste it in and drag it to where the torso is. And I'm gonna place it like right around here. And size it so the shirt itself is kind of past both these bars right here. So kind of like that. And that will be good. And we can start erasing some stuff. Now, delete anything that isn't a part of the t shirt, as you can see in the sped up clip. So there we go. So that's the front of the T and then we're going to need more parts. So since the back of the T is plain, I'm going to source my other images from here, the mo more like important ones. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to copy like right here, pretty big size. I'm going to make a new layer, drag it below the layer we were just working on and bring this down and resize it. What I'm going to do is put it like right here. So it's kind of like, um, a background layer for the shirt that we were just erasing so there you go you can already see it looks pretty good although we have some some of the stuff from the other layer still here that we forgot to erase or just didn't erase it happens but i'm gonna go up to this layer and i'm gonna erase a little bit more because i feel like some parts i skipped on and it could look a little bit better we can merge these layers down and then now we're gonna want to just go to the back layer copy how we kind of did on the front so a pretty wide space now come here make a new layer of course and then do basically what you did on the front this part you see it's off template don't delete it yet because we're gonna want it over here so it's a really simple fix what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy from here and not copy anything but just drag it and we're just gonna drag it right here make sure it's aligned and all and again you can start erasing repeat the process and if you have any white parts that are like this right and you go to erase some so like this and it goes transparent onto the background merge your layers down now grab your clone stamp tool it will be right here set the size pretty low and the hardness to zero and then control click Okay, so this part I'm gonna have to explain myself on a voiceover because I just could not explain it at all. So basically what I'm trying to show you is that the circle that's sitting still is what you're gonna be copying to the circle that's following my mouse. So if you don't understand that, you will see right now as I demonstrate it. Okay, for the next part is up here. Now you can either get an image from here like the back or you can do it the lazy way like I do and just copy an image from here 
Control C, come up here to the top, hold Shift down, and then rotate it like so, and then just put it down like here, and then resize it. You can lose some quality doing that, but it, it's fine. It's the top of their shirt. No one really pays too much attention to it. And I'll remove the template real quick to do the clone stamp tool thing I was talking about. If you need uh, more help on the clone stamp tool, I made a whole video on it that will go into depth on it. It's like a one minute video, but after that video, you should know how to like do it professionally. So now that I have all this down on the torso, we're going to want to work on the arm or the sleeves. And basically, it's as simple as coming back over here, finding the most blank spot in your shirt and copying a portion of it and then putting it down. Make sure the size is pretty decent. Doesn't have to be too like big like this and i'm just gonna copy this and mirror it and then i'm just gonna come over here grab a portion on the back torso and then paste it right here now i'm gonna get rid of the template again use the clone stamp tool now I'll copy this or portion right here and then make a new layer go up and then control v it and then go over here to layers and then flip horizontal and then align it to the template so in order to get more detail on the sleeves what we're going to want to do is right here on the line you're going to want to copy copy a pretty decent proportion <laughs> control c make new layer control v drag it down to right here okay now get rid of anything that's going off the sleeves so like that now go to your erase tool and erase a little bit and what you're going to want to do now is do it on the other side so right here Control c Control v and then i'll erase anything that may not be needed and basically to explain what i just did is i basically just put the wrinkles that are going on the side of the torso which this is this would be the side of the torso onto the sleeves because on the left and right side of the torso you can't see anything there so we're basically just adding more detail by putting these here anyways though now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit more detail and we're just gonna find the stitching lines so these parts are right here i'll give you some more examples this and this you're gonna want to find the most straight image you can find that has them in it so like this one this one's the straightest so you just want to copy it go here control control v on a new layer and now put it where it would be so lower lower side of the shirt put your hardness a little high and erase anything above it so like how i'm doing you might not be able to see it and if you can't then just get rid of the little shirt layer now what you're gonna want to do or, well what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna copy it to here and then erase so it kind of aligns and then I'm going to copy it just like so and then I'm gonna put whatever else I have on the bottom of the sleeves so this and I'm gonna resize it and then this. So it looks good so far, but me personally, I don't think the stitching is colored right to the shirt. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go up to adjustments. And you can either use highlight slash shadows for hue slash saturation plus. Or brightness and contrast to color match better. And then I'm going to... Put some transparency on this you might not have this and if you don't you can go to my discord server and you can download these in the things for beginners channel it's it's a plugin and it's pretty easy to download i think it's like maybe five clicks in total and you have it on paint.net uh, actually if you don't even have paint.net itself you can download it on there too the server will be in the description and that's the stitching lines done so we can merge this layer down and then now we're going to want to give the um sleeves a little bit of variety so what we're going to do is we're just going to go to liquify which also can be found in the server in the plugins and what we're going to do is just make the size of the brush to like 100 or something and just give these a little bit of like a wavy effect so like how i'm doing right now just push up on them 
so like that and just press ok and that's as simple as that you can now delete anything that goes off the template which I'm just assuming I'm not sure if anything is but I'm just assuming now arguably the hardest part to some people is the neck hole and because I got something that was so curved it will be a little bit more easy for me paste it down like so and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna control C control V then I'm gonna grab the lowest part right here and you see these numbers down here I'm gonna basically push this up right here I'm gonna push it up until it returns back to 46 but basically inverted so watch so there you go see it's 46 again but it's inverted on the opposite side so what we're gonna do now is just select down so now we have a bigger side but instead of the second number we're gonna do the first number and flip it to 37 so control C control V and then 37 and there you go now what you're gonna do is go to your erase tool set the hardness to like 40 something erase around the neck hole the neck hole is a little too too round and it's a little too perfect and in order for this to be a little realistic you're gonna want to make sure it's not completely proportionate on every side so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna go to liquify set the size to pretty low and just kind of give it unproportionate sizes so like that and boom that simple now what we're gonna do is we're gonna merge it down and that's like the standard way of making a shirt without like any like insanely advanced stuff in order to increase your quality and make this a little bit better this is the little thing uh, I do sometimes I'm not sure if everyone else does it well I know people are sharpen but I'm not sure if they do it this way so what I do is I control a control C go up a layer control V and I go to effects and then photo and then sharpen okay I sharpen till what I think looks good so you will see if I get rid of this layer the improvement that it gives it it looks way better but if you notice if you have a good eye if you notice some areas on the shirt like right here for example just like have a weird line to them and on the template like if we were to upload this to roblox it gives it like your character a weird outline even here for example this is just a black line it gives like your character a weird like outline so to avoid this this is why i made a new layer to avoid this what we're gonna do is we're just gonna erase any of this that we see on a brush size that's pretty low and hardness all the way to zero so look as you can see i'll get rid of this so now if i do it you will still see there's all that detail still but the little like lines that we had are now gone and it just looks way better so now you can merge this down and i think that is a shirt finished huh i'm pretty sure that's pretty finished as you can see i messed up a little here but it's as simple as just come over here to clone tool and fading this out same on this side a little bit and there you go so yeah in the next video i will show you guys overlays shading and a couple more things that you can do to just increase like just everything about your design so yeah look be on the looks for that all right all right goodbye